Hey guys, just wanted to uh, react to another video that Pierre Polyev just put out called Trudeau Wants All the Control. So uh, I think we already know what it's going to be about, but let's react to it and then uh, we'll talk to it, uh, talk about it after, rather. He wants to have total control over what you can see and say online mm -hmm. to protect us all from these dangerous forces that might influence our thinking if we're not protected by the angels in the government. And yet, when there is actually a risk of manipulation by hostile and malicious actors like, say, a communist regime in Beijing, he can't even take the responsibility of reading his briefing notes. First of all, these are uh, <laughs> briefing notes that I never yeah. saw. These are briefings for a briefer who then uh, gave a briefing. This is the irony, the great irony of his leadership. And one of the reasons why I think he's succeeded in doubling housing costs, giving us the worst inflation in 40 years, sending 2 million people to the food banks, 8,000 people signing up for a Facebook group called the Dumpster Diving Network because they now have to eat out of a garbage can after he drove food prices rising with his carbon tax. He wants to control every aspect of your life. And then when he ruins your life, he wants to take none of the responsibility for the ruin that he caused. Yeah, so, you know, and again, like it's kind of interesting how you have like, the, the, the Bill C-63, I believe it's called. It's like the Online Harms Protection Bill, whatever it's called. But it's like, basically, they can determine what is hate speech and what isn't. And this is why you don't ban any kind of speech, because now it can be misinterpreted and now they can start censoring people. And that's exactly what Trudeau's done. It's what he wants. Uh, you know, and the other thing that, you know, Pierre Paul, yeah, bringing up the fact that there's clearly been some shady doings by the CPP, which is the Communist Party uh, in China. And he doesn't seem to really care about that. It's very interesting how he just kind of has this double standard for what's important or what's harmful. And him, just like most people on the left, they want to pretend that words hurt people more than actions and all this, and just the complete opposite from what we were told when we were kids, right? Sticks and stones don't break your bone, or sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will ever, never hurt me. Right? I mean, if you're over the age of 50, they probably don't say that in school anymore, but they used to, right? Because you, you can't let words bother you that much. And, you know, it's just more of, of Pierre Paul, yeah, just continuing to expose Justin Trudeau and his whole cabinet. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. And if you look at, like, their, their YouTube channels, I mean, I know I'm, sm I'm a small channel, so I'm not trying to be too critical. That being said, you check out Justin Trudeau's YouTube channel, Karina Gould's YouTube channel, and she just gets ratio. She gets, like, a thousand, at least a couple thousand uh, views per video, but the comments are almost unanimously negative. I think it's been a while. She, I know she just had a baby, but it's been a while since she's uh, posted, but they just get ratioed all the time. No one is a fan, or sorry, about 25% of people are fans of liberals still, but no one really likes them. You know, it's just, it's, it's, it's insane how, <laughs> it's still insane how those people can still like him, especially after all this. They can't afford anything. They're these, they're the type of people to literally vote for something get what they vote for, and then complain, which is beyond retarded. I mean, how, how could you how could you not only vote for him once, vote for him three times and potentially vote for him a fourth time, and then when rent's three grand a month for a one-bedroom, you're going to be like, oh, this is bullshit. Yeah, you voted for it, stupid. And this is what I mean. Like, And this is why the left, they just need to wake up and understand that no, Pierre Polyev's not – racist no he doesn't hate women he's not a misogynist if you were so worried about racism you would have demanded that trudeau resign after applauding a fucking nazi in the house of commons so get real okay like pierre polyev's racist he supports all these groups justin trudeau standing ovation to a nazi well it was a misunderstanding well then he's an idiot and he should resign just for being so stupid anyway that's enough for uh, today guys i don't want to go on too much of a rant so um don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate all of you who do. It really helps grow this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll be back later.